What we're going to do is we're going to do a special edition Danny Jeopardy. I have four categories of single Jeopardy with three questions each. Uh, you have question values of 200 for the easiest, 600 for medium, and 1,000 for the hardest. I'm going to go through these, and if you give an answer, you lose the money. But if you give an answer and get it, you get the money. And if you pass, it's no money lost or gained. Alright, so here are going to be your first four categories. We have state stuff. Then we have breakfast of champions. Vocabulary. And finally, we have bachelor of arts. So which category would you like to start out with? Breakfast of champions. For how much money? 200, 600, or 1,000? 200. 200. This cereal has used the slogan, Breakfast of Champions, since the 1930s. Cheerios? So, you want to answer this, right? And you're going to risk the $200. You will go into negative if you get this wrong. You want to say Cheerios, Breakfast of Champions? Yes. Okay. The answer, of course, is Wheaties. Wheaties that has the athletes in the front of the cover box. So you are now negative 200. Okay. All right. Next uh, category. Mm, state and stuff. State stuff for two, six, or 1,000. Two. All right. In 1945, the U.S. Naval Academy was founded in this state. Virginia. You were oh so very close. Unfortunately, it is Maryland. The city is Annapolis. You were there. That's where the Naval Academy still is. Ah. All right. Categories are state stuff, breakfast of champions, vocabulary, and bachelor of arts. Which would you like to move to next? Bachelor of arts. Bachelor of arts. Okay. He proposed to at least three women, including Eugene Lawyer, in 1973, but this painter was never wed on a starry night or any other. Pass. Okay. That's a pass. I don't know the guy's goddamn name. I don't think he might, but, well, at least you've heard of it. All right, next, next category. State and stuff again. All right, for 600 or 1,000? 600. All right, for 600 in state and stuff. This beehive state stays busy with the USA's highest birth rate. Ohio. You're guessing? You're, you're going to go for the guess or pass? I'm going for Ohio. Okay. It is, unfortunately, Utah. That was a tough one. I had no idea that was Utah. I didn't know Utah was a beehive state. So... Eh, breakfast of champions. All right. For 6,000 or 600 or 1,000? 600. All right. For 600. A special maker with larger, deeper grinds produces the Belgian type of these. Waffles. Now we do need it in a form of a question. What is a waffle? Alright, that is correct. You got your first one correct. Alright, very good. Alright. Uh, next category. Bachelor. Bachelor of Arts for 600 or 1,000? 600. In 1906, this composer wrote to his immortal beloved, Can you change it that you are not wholly mine? She couldn't. Again, in 1806, this composer wrote to his immortal beloved, Can you change it that, we are not that you are not wholly mine? She couldn't. Pass. Okay, I would pass it to that, too. But, I'll get back to that later. Okay. Next category. All categories still on the board. Ah, uh, breakfast of 
Chess of Champions. The only one left is of a thousand dollars. This uh, clue is some translate this Spanish name of this breakfast dish as country style eggs. Again, some translate the Spanish name of this breakfast dish as country style eggs. Pass. All right. All right, now we're down to state stuff, vocabulary, and Bachelor of Arts. Vocabulary. For two, six, or one thousand. Two. All right. This synonym for opulent comes from the name of a luxury hotel. Awesome. Okay. All right, now we have vocabulary, Bachelor of Arts, and state stuff. State stuff. For 1,000. The Oswego Canal is part of its 500-mile canal system. Pass. Pass, okay. Now we got two categories left. Vocabulary and Bachelor of Arts. Bachelor of Arts. Okay. Rudolph Valentino who was married to two women at once, was played on film by this Rudolph of the ballet who never wed. Yeah, pass. Okay. Um, you're only down to vocabulary. 600 or 1,000? 600. 600. This word for photographers who might follow a celeb around comes from the name of a Fellini character. What is a paparazzi? That is correct for $600. Also acceptable would have been paparazzo, but it was very well. It sounded kind of weird. All right, and finally we have vocabulary for 1,000, which is the daily double for this round, meaning that you can bet all of your winnings. Which am I what now? Uh, let me see. You are at two hundred dollars. You can bet up to a thousand though. For vocabulary. I'm going with two hundred. You're gonna bet all of your money. Yep. All right. This tight-fitting garment was the last name of a 19th-century French trapeze artist who wore one. What is a corset? So sorry, it is a leotard. Oh, a leotard. Gosh. You're a leotard. Hey, I wasn't the one that got it wrong. Yeah, but of course it is a tight-fitting outfit, too. Yeah, but it's not the name of a trapeze that wore it. Okay. Now, we have Double Jeopardy. There is also another Daily Double. Only one, since we don't have a full amount of categories hidden within these categories. We have the three Bs of classical music. We have fictional amusement parks. We have time to go green. And we have geography. Mm, fictional amusement parks. For, uh, for 400 for 1200 or for 2000 It's double jeopardy, so all point totals are doubled. 400 All right. Evil genius Gru wins a fluffy unicorn for his three girls at Super Silly Funland in this animated film. What is Despicable Me? Very good. Very, very good. All right. Next uh, category. Let's do the same one. All right. Pick for 12 or 2,000? 12. For 12. Les Gigantes wants to be a three-star restaurant at this Crichton theme park before the attractions begin eating people. Pass. Okay. Uh, next. Um... Geography. 
Geography for four, twelve, or two thousand. Four. All right. The new Progressive Party on this island wants it to become a U.S. state. Pass. Okay. Next category. Treaties. For four, twelve, or two thousand. All right. This period of music that saw the first attempts at opera ended with the death of Johann Sebastian Bach. One time again, this period of music that saw the first attempt at opera ended with the death of Johann Sebastian Bach. What is classical? That's your, that you're going with that? Yes. Unfortunately, no. It is the Baroque period. Well, keep in mind the category, the three B's of classical music. All right, next category. Uh, green. All right. And time to go green. Types of gem cuts include this one, named for a certain gem, that are meant to intensify that stone's green color. What is an emerald? You are correct. Also acceptable would have been emerald cut. I wouldn't have known that, so... Okay. Uh, next category. All right, only one left is for 2,000. It's only on this sitcom that you can enter the Krusty Land House of Knives. You read it again? It's only on this sitcom that you can enter the Krusty Land House of Knives. What is wrong with that's what you're going with? Yep. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is The Simpsons, Krusty Land. Shut up. All right. Next, uh, next question. Category? And the next green is the Daily Double. You can bet all of your winnings, but right now you have negative 1,600. Well, you can I, bet guess that's what I'll, I guess that's what I'll bet. Okay. A rhododendron is usually but, this... Um, yeah, I know. Well, I know, I'm going to bed here in a bit. Oh, as I was saying, I'm. Uh, you done with your mom? Mm-hmm. Okay. A rhododendron is usually this type of plant and a pine. This type of tree. What is a pine tree? Now, I said it's a type of pine. Yeah. Is that what you want to go for? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The correct answer is what is evergreen? Evergreen. Oh my god, that was so fun. Alright, we are down to three categories now. We have geography, time to go green, and three B's of classical music. All right. Along the Mediterranean, there's a French and Italian this. Italian for coast. What is... Border? What, uh, say that again? What is border? And that's what you want to go with? Yeah. It is Riviera. Riviera. Uh, okay. Okay. 
so waiting for your next category. All right, for 2000. Formed in 1952, the United States Army Special Forces is also known by this name. You are correct. All right, two categories left. The three Bs, classical music and geography. For 12 or 2000. All right. The word beautiful sometimes appears in the title of this waltz, the unofficial anthem of Austria. Okay. Uh, now we just have 2,000 questions left. Geography and three Bs of classical music. Geography. Geography, okay. Founded in 1853, Washington University isn't in D.C. or Washington State, but in this city on the Mississippi River. What is Kansas? So sorry, that would be St. Louis. You know, I know I'm going to get there in the All right, the last question. Vivaldi, and this is inside. The three B's of classical music. All right. Vivaldi wrote 230 violin concertos, his most for any instrument. Second are his 40 or so for this B woodwinds. All right. So now we are into Final Jeopardy. And earlier, you picked the category for Final Jeopardy, and you picked 1960s TV history. Still comfortable with that category? Okay. Um, you currently have negative $4,400. How much of that would you like to wager? Well, I guess all of it. Okay. Here is the final clue. For Final Jeopardy. The 1967 finale of The Fugitive drew in 78 million viewers, surpassing the 73 million who turned into this show Sunday, February 9th, 1964. Again, the 1967 finale of The Fugitive drew in 78 million viewers, surpassing the 73 million who tuned into this show on Sunday, February 9th, 1964. What is bewitched? Oh, I am sorry. That would be the Ed Sullivan Show. The oh, Ed Sullivan that? Show. Oh, well. Uh, maybe your mom would have. I doubt it. All right, now to go through the questions you passed on. So the last one you passed on was Vivaldi wrote 230 violin concertos, his most for any instrument. Second are his 40 or so for this B woodwind. The woodwind instrument that starts with the letter B is bassoon. Well, how the hell would I have known that? Oh, I don't know. The next one you passed was also in the three Bs of classical music. The word beautiful appears, uh, sometimes appears in the title of this waltz, an unofficial anthem of Austria, and that is the Blue Danube. Also, except it would have been on the beautiful Blue Danube. The progressive party on this island wants it to become a state. That, of course, is Puerto Rico. Glez Gigantes wants to be a three-star restaurant on this Crichon theme park before the attractions begin eating people. That was in Jurassic Park. Oh, I should have known that. <laughs> Sad. 
Uh, Rudolph Valentino, who was married to two women at once, was played on film by this Rudolph of the ballet who never wed. And that is Rudolph Nureyev. Nureyev. That is Rudolph Nureyev. Yeah, I was going to say, that looks like he loved it. All right. I've never even heard of him before. The, the Oswego Canal is part of its 500-mile canal system. That is in New York State. In vocabulary, the term for opulent comes from a luxury hotel. The luxury hotel that has a synonym of opulent is Ritz Carlton. So the acceptable answer is Ritzy or Ritz. Some translate the Spanish name of this breakfast dish as country style eggs. That would be huevos rancheros in Breakfast of Champions. In Bachelor of Arts, this 1806 composer wrote to his immortal beloved, can you change it that you are not wholly mine? And she couldn't. That was Ludwig von Beethoven. And the artist who proposed to at least three women, including Eugene Lawyer in 1873, but this painter never wed on a starry night or any other, was Vincent van Gogh. I knew that. You knew that? You were the one that said that who would ever know that? As soon as you said the name, I knew it. Okay. So what did you think of this Jeopardy game? Interesting. It's interesting. Even though you finished with negative uh, 8,800 points. Yeah, and the whole point of the game is to play it, not win. True. And you did get some right. If you only just didn't answer the ones you weren't sure on and just answered the ones you were sure on, you could have done well. I also felt like you could have gotten the Krusty Land one right, but for some reason you said Rick and Morty. Now, you said knives, and I just instantly was like, oh, hey, Rick and Morty, they joke about that show all the time. Okay. 